Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kenis and welcome to my channel if it is your first time here. If you're not new to this, but you're true to this, what going girlish fam? So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you five steps to own the home of your dreams. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, then please stay tuned. So the fact that you clicked on this video tells me that you're interested in owning your own home and I'm just going to go right ahead and claim that for you. Yes, you will watch me. I'm going to send you one bag of positivity, good vibrations, all of that and hopefully after watching this video, you say to yourself, all right, I'm going to feel like I'm a little bit more ready and prepared and them something that makes sense and I'm going to get the O's. Yeah, cut. Yeah, I'm going to get the O's, you know? Yeah. All right, so just a quick backstory for you guys if you um if you're new here. I mentioned this in a previous video. I think it was, you know, can a young person really own their own home in Jamaica? I think it was something like that. I'm going to link it though, right? And in that video I had said that for a very long time I felt very very discouraged, yeah? I didn't see how it was possible for me um, as a young person in the public sector to own something for myself by myself like it just never seemed possible for me like for me it was either my only options that I saw live with a parent live with a partner there was no in between for me like I never seen a light on the end and a tunnel but me did refuse to accept that so I started to do some research and in me doing my research I've now come up with some guidelines that I think would be really really helpful and you know you guys can try and apply these you may or may not use them these are only suggestions guys like i said only suggestions so you may agree you may not agree but you can still try and apply them um to your situation you may apply some of them not all of them but see how best they can assist you all right um let me just get this out of the way also i am not a realtor i'm a physiotherapist by profession that's the only hat i wear right now physiotherapist and sometimes well not sometimes slash youtuber all of that so um for now that is it but like i said you know with me going out there and doing my research and i used to feel so discouraged i just want to be able to encourage you guys and you know if i can share some tips that i found helpful then i'm just going to go ahead and do that because oh i also discouraged in my life no you need some people for get like encouragement and make you feel like things possible yeah so we're just going to get straight into it so the first step that i suggest is to actually know how much money you qualify for that seems like the most feasible thing to me because what you don't want to have happen is that you're looking at some homes and these are way outside of your price range and then you start to depress yourself now because you fall in love with something and then you realize that you cannot afford it right so i think it's best you go down to nht find out how much money it is that you qualify for and when you find out you will pay money you want to look into now getting joint financing through another lending institution so whoever your bank is you go you do your research find out all right i can get this from nht how much can i get from you guys and i would definitely suggest shopping around right not because ncbi your main bank you know what them nothing okay shop around and see what the different institutions have to offer what their mortgage rates are like all of that and see what works best for you and what fits best into your lifestyle all right so after you do that now say you're probably working with well this is about a single person if it is that is you and your partner want to do it or you're combining with a parent or you're combining with another family member then the two are going to need to go down there and find out what you're going to qualify for all right so say you'll get 6.5 million from nht and you're going to get five million dollars from your lending institution right um, so you know that you have 11.5 million dollars working with right and also let them give you a breakdown in terms of what the monthly payments and all of these things is going to be so that you can already start creating in your mind all right this is the road i'm going to be heading on because i'll definitely suggest using nhc doing a joint financing or using nhc alone because they have the lowest interest rate so you want to be able to capitalize on that low interest rate right so find out how much money you can get collectively you may not even be able to get additional money from a lending institution depending on how much it is that you earn but you have to know what it is that you are working with like you have to go in there with a plan you need to have a map and know say all right this is the amount of money 
that they're going to give me find out if it's a hundred percent financing if you want to go the route of construction find out how much money they'll give you for the land and then how much money they'll give you for construction because no we can have an idea of how much money we're working with um what fees might be associated down payments things like that so that's the very first thing you want to do guys it is so hot i'm very very sorry for the see me i sweat like crazy i'm probably soon turn on the fan so maybe just go ahead and apologize for now if you hear it in the background all right okay right so the next thing you're gonna do is to do a preliminary search this is what i think makes sense so just kind of do a preliminary search so say you get 6.5 from nhc and you get five million dollar from a lending institution so we're working with 11.5 million dollars right so now you're gonna go start doing your research look in the papers contact your realtor you may want to look on youtube just start searching and seeing what homes within that price range where they are what they look like if it's something where you feel like you can work with all right good if it is now that you feel like say them 11.5 million dollar house there is really not something that you're interested in you want something that costs a little bit more then you have to start thinking to yourself all right if i want something that costs a little bit more what is the price range that i'm actually working with and can i save to actually get to that so this now is my third step to know how the financial plan right so after we know how much we qualify for we see what the house is on the market cost for that money we might not be interested no we're gonna know all right these are the exact figures so let's say in the case of let's say let's use land for instance you get 2.5 million dollars from nhc for land but the land that you're seeing on the market that you like and in the areas that you like that is four million dollars right so you have to say to yourself all right so that means to say that additional well 1.5 million dollar that have to come out of my pocket plus me have to consider my lawyer fee i have to consider the down payment i have to consider surveillance um the the surveyors report the valuation report all these things we're gonna have to consider now and put all of that together to see what your budget is going to be and then make a financial plan if it is that what you're earning you, you can't you just don't see where you can make that possible then how can we get to that right so i don't know if you want to contact a wealth advisor my last video i had a sagicor um wealth advisor in there so i will link that for you if it is that you need to come up with a saving plan um is there something that we need to to kind of you know re rework <laughs> in the budget figure out how we're going to get to that goal so we're not going to set the goal but say well all right this is the whole semi wine in order for me to get to the house that i want this is how i'm going to get there so give yourself timeline so you're going to save x amount by this time if you want to start an additional business you're going to do an additional side hustle whatever it is that you decide that you're going to do in order to meet this goal actually put the plan in action now like i said sit down with it with the financial advisor and we figure it out or if if you want to advise yourself <laughs> for you and your partner to advise yourself but figure out how we're going to get to that goal all right because the thing is you know it's not just a cost for the host that you have to consider like i said there's all these other fees there's a lawyer's fee and yes i would recommend you getting a lawyer please there's a lawyer's fees like i said there's all these other um reports and other little fees and then you know you're carrying over stuff from one person name to the next person so put pen to paper and actually write down the stuff and know what you're working with get your roadmap so that you know how we're going to get there no but i just there uh ju just then i said i move around and a ball and i said lad me now can do this you you can do it right and if it is that maybe for the first one it may not be the mansion that you want it might be a smaller home you start a home doesn't have to be the final home okay so sit down and decide and say you know what all right this is the plan this is what we're going to do it and if you want somebody else doing it both of you need to be on the same page so both of you need to figure out how we're going to save how how are we going to get to this goal both of you have to be on that same like one person cannot spend one heap of money and the next one is sacrificing and all of these things find out how can you make sacrifices what can you do because it is very possible i see all these ways you now people talking about making money online so if you can't figure out an additional stream of income but find a way because there's always going to be a way 
right and if it is that you're going the route of construction also i would definitely suggest that you go ahead and consult with contractors and things like that to find out say all right this is what i have in mind find out how much that going cost to okay so now like i said we do a research do we you know we went and we find out we're just reviewing the steps so we went ahead and we found out what we qualify for we did our preliminary search now we're very intentional and we're going to come up with our financial plan now we're actually going to search for the host of our dreams or the land of our dreams and we're going to start seeing things coming into fruition and the final step that i definitely suggest and god know this should have been number one is to pray and take it to the lord in prayer like, listen to me and have patience honestly we need to pray and have patience because it's not going to be that yeah you see you start thinking about this and you're going to have the house by say two months time unless you have your good up good up money then yeah but if you don't this thing is going to you're going to have to be very intentional it's going to take planning right some additional things that I suggest, even though I said five things, but there's just some additional things to take into consideration, right? Remember that when you get the house, the house have to go furnish, okay? So you have to take those things into consideration, right? If it is that you're going to get a fixer upper, you need to figure out how best you're going to figure that out, right? If it is that you're interested in, in owning the home, don't me a beg on to try not to take out any, any major loans or not like that if the home is something that you're working towards to try not to take on the additional expenses because this is what we're working towards now all right so nobody said why you know say me go take out something i purchased from courts or something like no 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 be very laser focused and work towards that right and like i said i'm gonna say it again make sure you pray and have patience because it's not going to be an easy process maybe it is for some people but for the most part there's going to be some amount of frustration that you have to deal with especially if you're going through the route of construction there's all these things with contractors and whatever guys leave below in the description if you'd like me to sit down and have a conversation with one of these like con construction companies to kind of if if that's the route that you want to go to kind of get an idea from them like you know what would that process entail you know versus you going up to a man you know up the road that saves a contract or something like that but but let me know what if you guys would like to see that video and also other little additional fees that you need to think of you know in the whole process a lot of different things can come up so try and prepare for that also you know um if it is a new construction then you have to figure out light and water and all of those things and then you're gonna have to pay to put that in so there's a lot to consider um there's so much more i could have said in this video but i really never wanted this video to be long i genuinely hope that you guys found it helpful like i said there's also so much thoughts in my head and a, a lot more that i probably could have said but i think that was the takeaway right so again say the steps with me right know how much you qualify for do a preliminary search come up with your action plan your financial plan actually start looking for the whole snow being very intentional and put it to the lord in prayer i feel like me i teach <laughs> you know when i teach i wear the review when i pass that open up pass that while i go in when me i do the review with know. but yes guys those are my two cents like i said i really really hope you found it helpful like i said i'm just a, a you know a regular everyday person just trying to make things a little bit easier for you guys based on the research that i've done please let me know in the comment section if you have found this video helpful leave it in the comment section and let me know so i can get some encouragement please share the video it will help my channel um subscribe hit the notification so that you don't miss when i upload you know pass on the video give me a thumbs up all of them good something they follow me on instagram at girlish.876 as always guys thank you so much for watching please keep safe and walk good